Hey everyone, we are here with Josh Kalis, professional skateboarder and entrepreneur, and we're going to be talking yeah, about Heliclips. Oh, Heliclip. Oh, well, let me uh, transform real quick. Okay, whoa. Oh. Woo! Oh, ah. there we go. All right, I'm in Heliclips mode. All right. Do you have a marketing background? I do not. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe. I've always had to market myself for years, so maybe. But not trying to market myself. It just. Just doing know, it. Kind of, yeah. Well, cool. I, well, tell, tell me about Heliclips. Uh, Heliclips, well, I'm a skateboarder. I've been a skateboarder for 25 years, I would think, professionally for 17 or 18 years. And. It used to be all about magazines and wanting to get in the magazines, your photos, you know, right. or watching the other pros in, in magazines. But the magazine game kind of like slowed down and now everything is video. It's on the web. Everything is on the web. So I wanted to create an aggregation site that brought all the videos that come out every day to one website for kids to go on and check out what's happening in skateboarding every day. It's all new. It's all fresh. And that's just what happened. And it started cracking off. Awesome. So when you first started um, skateboarding, were people like telling you not to do this? Or were you like one of those kids that just went out and you know went wherever you could? Oh yeah. 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 I was an outcast for sure. I was an outcast in my family, in my household. I was an outcast at school. Um, it definitely was. It was tough to deal with being a skateboarder, especially when I did it in the '80s. You know, that I started in the mid to late '80s and going through the '90s and. It was rough, but it was all about heart. It was all about passion and what I love to do. And it, it kind of didn't matter what other people said, you know? And I just found myself at the right place at the right time sometimes and end up working out, you know? <laughs> yeah, right on for you. So, you know, there's a, I think as a parent, because I have a young son who's uh, 16 months, and, you know, for him to come to me and say, hey, mom, I want to go do this, the first thought I'm thinking is safety. So, is it, is it cooler now to try to be safer when you're trying to do tricks or or is it still let, let's just you know kind of fly by the seat of our pants uh you know i'm one for safety okay cool. but growing up as a skateboarder yeah. i know that if you're too overprotective you can get hurt you know what i mean because when you when you first start skating you're only falling at the level that you're skating at yeah. and as you're getting better you're learning how to fall as you're getting ah. better you know what i mean but if you got too many pads on and stuff you're not learning how to protect yourself. So yes, I'm a, I'm a fan of like, if, it's, if you're really young, put the helmet on, yeah. you know, but you also have to learn the process and learn the steps of protecting yourself. And sometimes less is more, you know? <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> so to all the people out there, all the naysayers who are getting, you know, some heat on going after their own passion, they want to become a skateboarder or whatever it is, what do you want to say to them? Because you, you've been through it, and basically you came from nothing to something. I mean, big time, so congrats to you on that. Um, I, would, I would probably suggest, or my advice to somebody that wants to come up through the skateboard world is just enjoy it and have fun with it, and don't let it completely take over your life. Always have different routes and different ideas for things, but just let it come from your heart and, and feel it. and. Uh, Put yourself in the right place at the right times. Find those doors that are open and those opportunities that might present themselves. And just go for it, you know? That's what I did.